everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. Today is on tangent chord angles. This is a very, very specific type of angle. There's a whole bunch of these angles inside and outside of circles. Here's what this one looks like. It's when we have a, come on, there we go. That's, that's pretty good. I have a tangent. That means a line that boop, just touches the circle at one point and one point only. And a chord. And a chord is a line that goes from one side of a circle to the other. It can be here, it can be here, it can be here. Any of these points, it's still a chord. I'm going to put it over there. So this is my tangent up here, and this is my chord, a tangent chord angle. If you're looking for something that looks like this is where we have intersecting chords. I have a video on that down below. If you're looking for central angles, looks like that, link down below. Inscribed angles, link down below. And we'll be coming up very shortly, and there will be a link down below in about a week after this, is when you have secants going outside, secants and tangents, and two tangents. So all that is coming shortly. This one again, just tangent chord specifically. Okay, now all of these inside and interior and exterior angles relative to a circle, their formulas are not that hard. It's just there's a lot of them and they're all very similar. So it's very easy to get them all confused and mix up which one is which. So the one on this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type it out so you can see the text here, the explanation that you're going to get. Okay, it's like in a tangent chord angle, the angle is equal to one half the intercepted arc. Okay, this is likely the definition you're going to see in your math book that or something pretty close to it. So what does that mean? If I put some letters on here, call this A, B, and C, then I can write a formula for this that hopefully makes it a little more clear. So my angle here would be angle A, B, C. And it says this angle is equal to one half the intercepted arc. The intercepted arc is the arc the angle is eating, as it were, like an alligator with its mouth open wide. It is eating that arc. It's where it's crossing the circle. So it may be a little more difficult to see it on this one as opposed to some of our other ones we did, like with a central angle like this. It's pretty simple to say, oh, that's the intercepted arc. Well, there it is. On this one, it's going to start here and go all the way around. That is the intercepted arc. It is the part of the circle that is inside the angle you're trying to find. It's all of it. So if I were to write this as a formula, then I would say the measure of angle A, B, C is equal to one half the measure of arc AB. And we're using degrees for both of these, for the angle and for the arc. So ABC is equal to half the measure of arc AB. So let's put some numbers in here. If I said that arc AB was 130 degrees, then I can just plug that in over here and say, okay, Half of 130 is going to be my angle ABC. One half of 130 or 130 divided by two is 65 degrees. So my angle ABC is 65 degrees. So this is very straightforward, just saying take the intercepted arc, divide it by two. So that's not too tough. Again, the difficulty comes that all of these are very similar. Some it's like take half the arc. Other it's take half the sum of the arcs, half the difference of the arcs. 
none of these mathematical concepts on their own are difficult, but it can be very easy to get them mixed up. So just be aware of that. Be very careful. Uh, another thing they may give you is they may instead want you to, let's see if I can just get rid of that highlight. There we go. They may give you this arc. They may say, all right, so this arc, the major arc of AB, and they'll probably put a point out here like this, and they'll say, this is how it'll be presented. The measure of arc ADB, that's how they're telling you to go around this way, is, let's say, um, 240 degrees. What is the measure of angle ABC? Here they're asking you to know that a circle is made of 360 degrees. So you go, okay, well I need to know, come on, I need to know this arc, the intercepted arc. So if arc ADB is 240, then I say 360 or the whole circle minus 240 equals 120. So arc AB is 120. Then I can go back to using my one half of the intercepted arc. One half of 120 is 60. So the measure of angle ABC here would be 60 degrees. The last thing they're likely to do with this is to throw in some algebra. <laughs> It always comes back to bite you. It just does. You think you're in geometry. You think you're safe. You think it's gone. It's always there. So let's say they tell you that um, the measure of angle ABC is equal to 5X and that the measure of arc AB is equal to let's say 8x plus 18. So in these kind of cases, always, always, always double check before you do your final answer after you've done this algebra that we're about to do. Always double check and see if they're asking for you to solve for x, if they're asking you to solve for the angle, or if they're asking you to solve for the arc, or all three. It's very easy to get caught up in solving for x and then write down triumphantly x equals blah, blah, blah. And you think you're all, you know, you're done, pat yourself on the back, and then it comes back with a big red on it. And why? And it says, oh, because I asked for the angle. I didn't ask for X. Always double check that. It's so easy to get pulled in. The SAT loves to do that too. So here in this case, we have measure of angle ABC is 5X. I'm going to use this little formula right here, and I'm just going to plug things in. So the measure of angle ABC is 5X. So I'm going to plug that in for the measure of angle ABC. Let's make this a little easier to read. There we go. And on the right hand side, one half times the measure of arc B. And I'm told the measure of arc B is 8X plus 18. So I'm going to write that over here. And now this is a pretty straightforward algebra problem. On the right hand side, I have, well, actually I have two ways. I can distribute this one half, do that, or I can multiply both sides by two to get rid of that one half. Either way is fine. They both will give you the right answer. I'm going to distribute. So on the left, I still have 5x. On the right, one half times 8x is 4x. And one half times nine, excuse me, times 18 is nine. Getting ahead of myself there. Then I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides so that all of my variables will be on the left and the numbers will be on the right. 5x minus 4x is x, and I just have 9 left on the right. So if they're asking you what is x, you have your answer, it's 9. If they're asking you for the measure of angle ABC, plug that 9 back into there, and we would say that it is 45 because 9 times 5 is 45. And then over here, 8x plus 18. If they want to know the measure of arc AB, 9 times 8 is 72, and 72 plus 18 is 90. So the measure of arc AB is 90. Ooh.
Ooh, don't need that anymore. So those would be your three things. Those are the most common problems you're going to see with this. They throw it, again, they start with the basics and they go to the outside and then they also are going to um, throw in some X's. I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, if it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.